teaching at a university down in Kyushu, but mostly I'm a consultant, so I teach training seminars um, and, and other consulting work for clients. Um, most of my um, clients are large Japanese firms and also work with some large um, foreign firms in Japan too. And so my specialties are cross-cultural communication, leadership, management skills, communication, um, lately doing some work style reform stuff. So all those kind of things that are all about how do people work together well. I'm originally from the United States, started studying Japanese in college, and have been kind of coming back and forth ever since then. ま、今日の最初のお話アイデアのモナジテーブルの人は、あの、職業は何なのか、ちょっと検討するという話だったら、私はそうと難しくて、もう時々コンピューターの前に座る一日中あるし、身の前に立つ必要、あの、一日中も
そしてその8つの重要なものを1つずつここで紹介します。まずは、be lazy。まあ、ちょっと日本人から聞くと、lazy というのはもう,もう努力しない人のように聞こえるんですが、でもそういう意味ではなくて、優先性をつけて、一番優先性の高いものにフォーカスして、優先性の低いものをちょっとしなくてもいいという感じです。あのあのまあ、別の言葉で言うと、最初の努力で最大の結果を出すという効率の良い仕事習慣ですね。So put in other words, be lazy is about how you take the least effort and get the most impact out of it. So really, be, it's about effectiveness. The second one is being comfortable with risks. That In business or in, or in technology, you need to try new things. And sometimes those things won't work perfectly. And so, if you have an environment where it's okay to sometimes fail, then people are going to be more creative. まあ、あの仕事をするときには、特に技術の面で新しいものをトライすることは非常に重要です。でも、トライするときには、必ずしも 100% 成功するわけじゃないんですね。うまくいかないとこ,とこがあります。あのでも、そういったうまくいかないときにはあの、その人を責めるのではなくて、まあ、あの失敗してもいい、またトライしましょう。失敗したことから学びをしましょう。そういった態度が必要ですね。So, it's a really、um, an attitude of what people in Silicon Valley would call fail fast, which is really learning fast. Try lots of new things, they might not all work, but just keep going. Next thing that's very important is comfort with uncertainty. And so, this is the idea that you can't plan everything. You know, lots of Japanese companies like to make 100 year plans and things like that, and there's some value to that, obviously. But especially in the technology field, things are changing very rapidly. And that was one of the things that Mikitana san said, talked about in his、um, keynote today, right? That things are changing really quickly, so it's hard to know what's going to happen. So being able to be flexible and to change what you're doing. As needed is really, really important. My k i n o Mikitani san no kino muni mo a t a n d e s k e r d o m o ano ima wa i r o n n a yono nako no henka wa kasoku ste mas no de, kore kara nani ga okoru ka wa masu masu yosoku s h i n i k u i j o k y o d e s ne. Desu kara, hayaku henka ste ru j o k y o ni, jun nan ni ojiru no ryoku ga hitsyo ni nai mas ne. すごくたくさんの計画をして、その計画を必ずその通り実施しなくてはないのではなくて、状況が変われば自分のやり方も変えられるということですね。Next one is servant leadership, and this is the one that we're going to be talking about more today.、Um, and I'll describe it more in a minute, but it's basically the idea that instead of giving people orders, that your leader supports the team. 次は今日掘り下げるつもりのサーバンツリーダーシップなんですけれども、基本的なアイディアとして、上司はみんなに命令するのではなくて、チームをサポートしてあげるという概念です。Related to that is self managed teams, and particularly when you have really smart people like software programmers, they're able to manage a lot of the things on their own as a team without being told from above what to do. So, you want self management team, not just care to more software programmer, not a no, you don't need to take a road or a state or cut a data. I know, Jibun touch you, Jibun de can research Koto Gakano de, way no Hokara Sunni, you are ready to see one night. Okay, the snake. Very important also for organizations to have trust in employees. So rather than making a lot of rules that kind of treat people like children, it's important for organizations to trust the judgment of each employee. But, 会社の方から従業員を信頼することも非常に重要で、たくさんのルールを作ったり、役所的なものをやったりして、あの人を信頼しない環境じゃなくて人、人を信頼するような環境をして、人に決断を任せることは大事です。And so, in that environment, it's important for each person to have confidence in their own judgment. If you're being empowered to make decisions, 
you have to feel comfortable making decisions. もちろん、まあ、いろいろあの人を信頼する。あの人に任せるという会社の方からあって、そうすると個人の方から自分で判断できるという自信も必要になります。And then finally,、um, having a different ba- balance of power with customers. There tends to be a feeling in Japan of the customer is God, right? We say customer is king in English, but customer is God in Japanese. And so rather than that, to be having more of a, a balance in power. まあ、日本語では顧客は神様というあの言い方がありますけれどもそういった上下関係じゃなくてもっとパートナー的に一緒に働くということは重要ですね。So these are kind of the eight things that are very important and a particular key one is the servant leadership. So that's what I want to explain to everyone today exactly what that's about and how you apply it. そしてこのサーバントリーディシップの方は非常に重要な役割ですので、今日それをみんなに説明してどうやって応用するかを話したいと思います。Okay. So the basic idea of servant leadership is that the, ser- the leader is a servant. And you, and so that's right away kind of a weird phrase because you think of servant. And you think of one of those like, movies with like, you know, 100 years ago in England, and they had a big house, and they had like 100 people who were running around cleaning and cooking, and those are servants. So those are helpers, right? But you know, you're a leader as a helper. So it's really kind of an unusual idea, right? But the basic idea is that the leader is really helping everyone on the team. Making it possible for them to do their best work. So, the way that I really like to think about it is the servant leader is like the coach for an Olympic athlete. Olympic athlete is really talented, they are you know, at the very top level of their sport. Coach probably can't do it as well themselves, but they play an important role helping them. To do their、um, sports well, right? And helps them think about what training plan they should have, what's the training environment, what should they be thinking about, what should they be eating, how much should they sleep. You know, the coach thinks about all those things, right? So that's kind of what a leader should do for their team. Team goes and they compete in, the, you know, in, in the game, the coach helps. Right? In business, teams writing the software, coach makes an environment where they can write the software. Mamazu a sabant rida to you, tema nandis kir, the mamazu sabant to you, kotaba, ma nihongo ni chokyaku suru to, tetsudai san, to you, mitas ne. もう手伝いさんリーダーはちょっと妙に聞こえるかもしれません。もう手伝いさんという話だったら、なんか100年あるいは以上前の何かイギリスの映画のように大きな家があって、あの料理したりとか、掃除したり人がたくさん行ったりとかというようなイメージが、まあ、サーバントという言葉を聞くと出てくるんですけれども、私が一番あの良いあの説明だと思うのは、オリンピック選手。とそのコーチですオリンピック選手というのはそのスポーツが非常に優秀。コーチの人は、まあ、昔はその同じスポーツをやってたかもしれないけど今はそれほどできないかもしれない。で、あれながらコーチはその選手がベストを尽くすことができる環境を整っているんですね。どの練習のプランをするのか、どこで練習するのか。何を食べるか、どれほど睡眠をするのか、練習しながらどういったところにフォーカスするのか、それは全部コーチの方からあのいろんなアドバイスすることですね。同じように職場のサーバントリーダーは非常仕事自体をすごく上手にできる従業員がそういった仕事をしやすい環境を整える、そしてやりながら適切なアドバイスを提供するというわけですね。So, to give just a few more items on here about what the servant leader should be doing, it's really about the, the word empowerment of delegating to employees. 
So rather than telling people what to do, letting people decide on their own. That's the, that's the first key thing about sovereign, servant leadership. Masangabandri da ship ni kan shite mama zo hijou ni juyo na tokoro to shite wa ego de empowerment to you koto bangari masker de mo yosur ni handa no makaseru koto des. Joshi ga zenbu handa sur no de wonakte jugyu in ni kimete mura to koto ga daiji desu ne. Very important also that the manager spend time removing obstacles for the team, making sure that they, anything that interferes with their work that gets taken care of. And so we, we'd say in English, um, run interference for somebody, right? Mm-hmm. たてばべつのぶしょうのたてしごとがおそいとかチームメンバーが自分の仕事に集中すべきですのでそういった仕事のおいおそいもう一つのチームに交渉しに行くのはマネージャーの役割ですねそのようにまいろんな問題を片付け
Rida no yakuari hatasiti koto deske no. Ryoho doji ni ano suru no wa. Ryoho doji ni umaku ikenai ti koto desu no de. So no dotra ka ano nisubeki desu ne. So one reason I really like this idea of servant leadership is that there's a lot of really nice proof behind it that it actually works. It's actually not that new a concept. It's about 40, maybe almost 50 years old. So it's been around for a while, but it's getting more attention recently because it's so appropriate for high-tech workplaces and particularly software development. And especially if you're doing agile scrum, it's, uh, it's the most appropriate way to be managing. So it's been getting a lot of attention in Silicon Valley lately, but it's actually pretty old. And because it's been around for a while, there have been a lot of academic studies that have proven that if you use servant leadership, you're gonna have so much better performance. So when you do servant leadership, all these things get better. The company's performance is better, team's performance are better, people are happier, um, you're more creative, employees help each other more. I mean, if you think about it, these are like all the things that companies are trying to do right now. And if you have one thing that helps with all of them, it's kind of like a magic wand, right? So like, wow, this is so effective. Why wouldn't everyone be doing it, right? ソフトウェア開発に非常に愛性が良くて、特にアジャイルソフトウェア開発とかスクラムとかをするときには非常にテキサスで、シリコンバレーで注目されるようになりました。なぜかというと、ソフトウェア開発に非常に愛性が良く
観察したりして状況を把握しようとします。そしていろいろ見たり聞いたりすることを考えて大変ながら社会に何が起きているかどういうトレンドがあるのか、まあ、将来のことも考えて計画を作るんですねこれからどういうことが必要なのかどういったことを考えた方がいいのか実施した方がいいのかいろいろ考えたりしてそして人の育成に力を入れることが非常に大きいですね。あのティームメンバーが学んだり成長したりスキルを身につけたりするためには何をすればいいかも常に考えたりしてそして何か問題があればそれは良いように解決されたりあの摩擦にならないように気をつけたりそ,の、まあ、そういうあとは癒すあのことがありますしそして何かあれば命令のではなくて説得をします。そして、チームの一体感、まあまあ、チームの雰囲気、チームビルディングも力入れたり、そして非常に長期的にも考えてあの、これからどういうことが必要なのか、どのように社会に貢献できるか、長い目で見たりすることをたくさんします。So, one of the reasons I like talking about servant leadership is I think that Japan really needs it right now for a bunch of reasons. Okay, so a lot of Japanese companies are very, very hierarchical. And if the very top or high level person says something, everyone kind of jumps and they run and do it. And so it's very much run by hierarchy. Um, and there's a, just a lot of what we call in English command and control, where people are ordering people around. And it's just not really a great way to manage. And I feel like that's probably limiting Japan's potential a lot. And there's also a lot of,、um, again, this is a Japanese English word, but power harassment. But there's a lot of Japanese companies where people aren't really treated so great, right? And so I feel like. Servant leadership is kind of the opposite of all of those problems. And so, if there were more of this servant leadership idea, it could help Japanese companies break out of some, what I think are kind of bad habits. But, I think servant leadership is a good idea. I think it's 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 a good idea. もう縦社会的にだったりとか、偉い様がの発言に対して過敏だったりとか、もうみんなに命令あのばかりをする環境とか、まあ、セクハラとかパワハラとか、そういったような問題が起きたりとか、そういったようなあのちょっと日本企業の多くが今抱いているちょっと良くないところに対して、サーバントリーシップは正反対なので、良い解決策になるんじゃないかと思いますね。So what I, what I also wanted to say about this too is that you know, I feel like a lot of managers in Japan want a different way of managing. That I have so many Japanese managers say to me, you know, when I was a young employee, my boss yelled at me. One of my, one of my clients said, Yeah, when I was a young employee, my boss used to throw his ashtray at me. <laughs> right? And so, like, you know, again, that was a long time. He he's like, well, that was a long time ago. That doesn't happen anymore. But that was his experience of management. And so, I have lots of Japanese managers who say to me, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that guy who threw the ashtray at me when I was 25. But what do I do? I need to do something different. But I don't have a model for that. I don't have a script for that. So I feel like a lot of Japanese managers are looking for something different. And I feel like the servant leadership can be that for people. Ma oko no nihonji no manager kara, iwa iru no wa, jibun ga waka kata toki ni wa, joshi wa, donaru bakari datta to ka, aru wa, hai zaro ga nagete kita to ka, tiu na, ano ya sir ni, wakai koro no joshi wa, yoi mohan jana kata, o yu nihonji ga oin desu. Desu kara, jibun ga, son no yo na yatsu ni naitaku nai, chigatta rida ni naritai. でも、模範がない、まあ、スクリプトがない、どうすればいいか、もう暗中模索だる
という状況をそういうようにおっしゃる日本人のマネージャーが非常に多いのでそれに対してサーバントリーディショップはよい答えになるのではないかと思います。So related to that too, I also talk to a lot of Japanese women who are being asked to go into leadership roles and also feel the same way, you know, maybe I don't want to be exactly the same kind of leader that I've seen some of those guys be. And I feel like servant leadership is also kind of plays to a lot of the strengths that women have and can offer another model that, that female leaders can feel more comfortable with rather than feeling like they had to be, have to be like some of the male leaders they've had in the past. But I think that the people who are in the leadership are in the leadership. They 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 are in the l e a d e r s と思っててそういったような希望しているあの女性にとってもサーバンツリーディシップは非常に適しているあのやり方じゃないかと思います。So I kind of explained about kind of servant leadership and I think maybe a lot of people are listening like okay that sounds really cool I hope my boss does that right? そして多くの人は今まで聞いてあそのサーバンツリーディシップいいですね自分の上司はそれを導入すれば嬉しい。まあ、でもそれだけで話が終わってしまえばいけないんですね。So, okay, that's the case. And if, if you are a leader, please, I'd like you to start thinking about doing this. But if you aren't a leader right now, we don't want it to stop right there. まあ、もちろんあの自分がリーダーだったら、まあ、すぐにこういうやり方を試していただきたいんですが、自分がリーダーじゃなくても、このコンセプトを使えるわけですね。So, Kind of what I like to say is kind of the Gandhi's phrase is you have to be the change. So if you are, want more leader, servant leadership in your life, you can start to be using these practices even if you aren't in a leadership position now. Because you can take leadership even without having a title. Right. Very important point. まあ、私はガンディの言葉はすごく好きであの自分が期待したい変革は自分の方から行きましょうですから自分がリーダーじゃなくてもサーバントリーダーシップの方法を使うことはできます、まあ、リーダーという肩書きがなくても今からでもサーバントリーダー的な行動を取ることは可能です So, related to that, I wanted to share really interesting research that Google did a few years ago. So, I'm guessing that Google is pretty similar to a lot of your workplaces in terms of the type of people who work there. And Google likes to do a lot of research and analysis. They have a whole team inside the company that studies the company、um, and does the kind of things you, that university people would do in academic papers. And they wanted to figure out. The people who were most successful at Google, what did they do that made them successful? Because, of course, if they can figure out the recipe for success, they can get more, everyone else to do the same thing too, right? So they did this analysis, and this was the results of the analysis. まあ、Google は非常に興味深い会社で、社内の分析をたくさん行っています。そして最近は社内分析をして、Google で最も成績のいい従業員の特徴は何なのかを見極めるための調査をしました。まあ、それを把握すれば、他の,あの従業員も同じことをしてもらったりとか、そういった特徴を持っている人を採用したりすること、いろいろ可能になります。これはその時の調査の結果のリストです。So、this is a very, very interesting Um, list that came out, if you look at this, these are almost all of them have to do with communication skills. So, even as an individual employee, being a good coach, helping people out, communicating well, understanding other people, which, as we mentioned before, it's like having empathy, were all very important. Um, and, then be, and then some things like being a critical thinker, making connections across ideas, STEM skills, like those obviously are important. 
But those were kind of at the bottom of the list. First four were much more communication skills. これはすごく興味深いリストで、あのマネージャーじゃなくて、の一般の従業員でもトップだるスキルはコーチングしたり、コミュニケーションしたり、自分と違った人を理解したり、共感したりすることでした。そしてリストのもっと低い地位で、もう問題解決力とか、複雑なアイディアを結びつけるとか、ステム能力とか、それもちろん重要だったけど、トップの4つは、まあ、いわゆるソフトスキル。So the top four were what we call in English soft skills.In other words, those things that are all about people and working with people.So really, no matter what your job is, those same skills that a servant leadership あスリブンリーダーユーズを help you in any job especially when you're working in these very、um, intellectual jobs where you need to work well with other people、まあ、あの先ほどお話ししていたサーバンリーダーシップのスキルはどんなあの地位でも使えるもので特にこの知的な労働の話で他のチームメンバーと協力することは重要である中ではそういったコミュニケーションスキルは非常に大事になるわけですね。So, a few thoughts, things to think about, and I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask everyone to find you know, two or three people near you, and I'm going to ask you to spend a few minutes comparing thoughts. And so, I want you to think about you know, how are you using soft skills in your work. And what impact do you see from that? And maybe what can you do to be using soft skills more? So I'm going to give you five minutes and I'm going to ask you to、um, talk with some people around you about this. そしてみんなもあのそばに座ってるあの数人で小グループになってこの3つの質問を5分のタイマスので話し合っていただきたいんですけれどもあの今はソフトスキルを仕事の中でどのように使ってるのかそのインパクトは何なのかそしてもっともっとソフトスキルを使うには何をすればいいかあの小グループで話し合って見ていただきたいんです5分のタイマスのでどうぞスタートしてください。Start over here at this group. Did you guys want to share anything over here? Nanika, comment on this. Okay. Or maybe let's just say anyone who wants to comment, please raise your hand. If you want to comment, please comment. Okay. 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 あのいやソフトスキルをどんなふうに使っているかって言ってやったとき、自分一人でやってるとか、あんまり使ってないとか、で私の場合はあの、使おうとすると、どっちかって言ったら、上司に邪魔者として配慮されているような気がしてる<笑>みたいなことをちょっと言ってましたあの。どうしたらいいのかっていうね。あのちょっと方向性が違うことを実現させるためにみんなにこうやったら楽ちんよとかいうのやってるとあのそれはソフトスキル的やと思うんだけど方針と違うことをしてる<笑>あ<ー><笑>うん、みたいなところらへんでよく邪魔者になりかかってるかな上司にとってっていう自分が感じることが多い。あそうですね。OK。So let me first translate that into English. So what they discussed in their group Is you know, trying to do some of these soft skill things, and sometimes it ends up going against what their boss is go- doing, or just like viewed as being in the opposite direction or not being supportive, and so they kind of feel like maybe it's not encouraged.、Okay? So I think that that is tricky, right? And Yeah, because you don't, you know, I mean, you could use your soft skills just to be a,、uh, what's the word I want? So, like, a, like an antagonist, but you know, I don't think that that's going to be helpful. I think you want to try and find for ways to first use the soft skills to support what's going on.、Um, so, you have to find some way that, that 
you can use the soft skills in a way that's going to be viewed as being helpful, right? Mantashkani soft skills katte mo hantai ha o sukuttari to kan no yona kanji ni naru koto wa mochiron kanosei toshite arimasu kedo demo so suru to ano osharu yo ni chotto naka ano sumetai de mede mirar tai suru koto ni naimasu no de hajime toshite wa zentai no hokosei to ka joshi ga yoro toshite ru koto o supporto suru katachi de sukatte mitta hou ga ichiban ino do naka to moimasu Other comments? Yes, okay. スパルタな上司っていうのは結構上から言うのが多くて、多分ちょっと上司でだいぶ変わってくるんじゃないかなとは思うんですけど、うん、はい。私はそう思いますね。あ、そうですね。はい。聞いてくれる上司だったらいいんですけど。そうですね。はい。So he points out that it's it's a lot easier if you have a boss that listens to you. And so unfortunately, in his case, he's got kind of a middle manager who just kind of passes along what he heard from above, right? And so anyway, that's a tricky problem when you when you're in that situation、uh, because it doesn't give you a lot of room to do different things. And so that's where I would say you just have to find what small things you can do in your work without sort of trying to go against that. The other thing that I recommend, you know, we're talking today about future leadership. And one thing that I always recommend for people is while you find ways to, you know, demonstrate some leadership in your work. Also, look for some venue outside of work where you can be involved. And so, maybe that is a, a meetup or a study circle or a community activity or a volunteer activity. Sometimes you, you can't you practice so much at work, so you might need to find some other group where you can be practicing your skills. And I feel like in Japan, a lot of people, since they work such long hours, that they don't always get involved in other things. So that can be something to think about is to make time. Maybe it's on the weekend, maybe it's one evening a week, where you can do, be involved in some outside activity where you can be practicing your leadership skills there. That could be something else. Again, as a way for you to develop your skills. But a s h k a n i a n o o s h a r e tori, t o k i d o k i n a k a a n o s h o k u b a n de, so i t a soft skill to a leadership skill, haki s u r u koto wa, keko k a g i r a te shimao, bai mo arimasne. Mo shi so d a r ba, a n o aru wa i p a n t e k i ni, yoku sui sen suru no wa, shagai ni, so i t a skill i kasu ba o s u g a s koto wa, yoi to omoimasu. 例えば、まあ、ミートアップだったり、であの技術のことを勉強するサークルだったり、コミュニティ活動だったり、何か事前事業に関わったり、まあ、いろんなそういった会社の外の活動に関わって、その場で自分がサフスキルを使ったり、リーダーシップを発揮して、自分の将来のリーダーシップあの,のために準備すること。おすすめしますでもよく日本ではあの多くの人は非常に長時間労働してますのでそういった外の活動のためになかなか時間がないということは多くの人の現状ですけどできるだけそういった時間を作った方が良いと思いますですからそういった社外の練習の場もあった方がいいと思います。ね So, I am going over my time, so I'm going to have to stop here so I don't mess up the schedule. But I'm going to be here the rest of the day and also here for the networking. So, if anyone has other questions or just wants to chat, I will be around. もうなかなかあの私の時間を超えてしまったので、ここでストップしなくてはないんですけれども、あの今日は最後までにいますので、ネットワーキングの時にもいますので、質問した,あのしたりと話したいある方はぜひ話してください。So thank you very much, everyone.、Okay.